LeBron James chucked the ball before the halftime buzzer sounded for a full court three point attempt that was never intended to go in the hoop. It was a hoist riddled with anger as he didn't even watch to see where it landed. That's the state of basketball in Cleveland right now. The Cavaliers' 120 98 loss at home to the Rockets was embarrassing beyond belief. As Cleveland's post Kevin Love injury unit proved that it's a bad basketball team. The fans at the queue booed Isaiah Thomas after a string of missed shots. They booed the entire roster as they went into the locker room down 65 39 at the half. Trevor Ariza, the Rockets' starting small forward, and Eric Gordon, their sixth man, didn't even play due to injuries. And it was still this bad. After the game, Coach Ty Lu was asked if the team tried. And according to AP's Tom Wither, he responded, Don't look like it. We had no fight. This was about as bad as a LeBron James team has ever looked. Cavs fans should be in an uproar. The current makeup of this roster isnt winning a damn thing. The Cavs were a mess before Kevin Love's injury and are a catastrophe without him. This blowout loss gave them a negative point differential on the season. Meaning teams have outscored them in total points this season. The Clippers, Pacers, Jazz, Nuggets and Wizards are a few teams ranked above them. The Cavs roster is comprised of former greats who are no longer great. And that's a huge issue. Dwayne Wade is having one of the worst seasons of his career. Derek Rose has been a fringe NBA player for some time now. J. R. Smith is having the worst three-point shooting year since he was a nugget. The Cavs' brutal offseason is showing. Most concerning may be Thomas, who's only been back for 13 games, but has been horrendous. He's shooting 25% from deep. 36% from the floor. And there's no guarantee he makes it back to his Celtics form before the season ends. Don't forget Love is out for 6 to 8 weeks. Yikes. What should the Cavs do? Trade. 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 Related 6 possible trade destinations for DeAndre Jordan and Lou Williams. At this point. Any non-LeBron James entity needs to go on the market with five days remaining until the trade deadline. That includes Thomas and the Nets' first-round pick. The Cavs are playing with the future of their franchise considering LeBron is able to walk anywhere. He pleases as a free agent this summer and need to do everything they can to keep him even if their efforts fail. They are the only team in the league who gets priority in keeping maybe the greatest player ever. They can't watch this meltdown persist. The James Ray signing in Cleveland meter appears to be fading fast.